Hello, my name is Madison Combs. I'm with Jeffersonville High School After School Gear Up. And today for our activity for after school, I thought I would show you how to make two neat little um, things for at home. You can use this for like a Mother's Day gift that's coming up soon, just for yourself to relax or to a friend or family member. So what I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you how to make a sugar scrub that you can use in the shower or in the bath. And then I'm also going to show you how to make a bath bomb. And so we'll make both of these and you've got all different variations. So what you're going to need for the sugar scrub, that one's the easiest one. So we'll start with that. You need one cup of sugar. Okay. So for your sugar, I'm just going to pour it into a bowl here. Okay. So you got one cup of sugar and you're going to need a fourth of a cup fourth of a cup of coconut oil okay so you can use any type that you have as long as it's it'll look pretty thick right here but once you start messing with it it'll break up a little bit easier okay as you can see it's kind of like breaking up so just break it up a little bit don't heat it up don't want to do that Okay, so we need a fourth of a cup of our coconut oil. Okay, so we got about a fourth of a cup of our coconut oil. You're going to add this to your salt, or sorry, to your sugar. You're going to add this to our sugar. Okay. And the neat thing about the coconut oil is once you start mixing it, it'll heat up to your body temperature. So it'll melt pretty easy, okay. which is nice. So the next thing you want to do is you want to add some type of um, smelly good to it. So I have some type of oil. So for my purpose, I've got grapefruit oil, but you can use any type of, of like essential oil. So lavender, orange, um, any of that. You can even use coffee grinds and add a little bit of coffee grinds to this and a little bit of like one teaspoon of vanilla. Mix it up and it's like a, a latte. It's vanilla and coffee. It smells really good. So for our purpose, we just need about four to five drops of this because it's really strong. You can add a little bit more if you don't get the smell that you want, but just add, add, start out with a little bit and then add more because it's hard to take it out. So, okay. So I added a few drops. Show you here. And you just want to stir this up. It's going to take a little bit of time to work with it. Okay. And you can find like if you have an old mason jar or um, a neat little container that maybe you have or even like a Tupperware container for food. And you can store this in it and you can put like a little bow around it and decorate it if you're going to give it to someone. Okay, so just going to take a little bit of time here. Make a little sugar scrub. Starting to smell really good. It's grapefruit. Just be patient with it. So it's getting there kind of looks like um, clumps of snow <laughs> once you have it. Oops. Okay, so it's coming along nice. And you can add um, some food coloring to this if you'd like to change a different color. Don't add too much. Um, we once added blue to this, and then we came out looking like a smurf a little bit. Dot our skin. Don't do that. <laughs> so pick something light so that it can dissolve easy. 
And the nice thing with this is you can use this as an exfoliator um, to get off the dead skin. And it's nice for like a lip scrub. If you've got dry lips um, after you shave your legs or even on your face. Okay, so this is exactly what you want it to look like, okay? So it's going to look a little lumpy like this. It's perfect, okay? And it warms up whenever you touch it, okay? Or you have it in some hot water. So what I'm going to do with this is I just happen to have these little condiment containers that you use for like uh, ketchup or mayonnaise. And I'm just going to fill one of these up. And then that way I can give it to a friend or I may give it as a Mother's Day gift, okay? So you can pack this in there. And this would probably make about eight, eight of these if you have little big containers. So you can store it in a big container, okay? So there's one. It smells really good. It's got coconut and grapefruit, mm. okay? And you could write on this, you could decorate it, put a little bow, but it's a nice little gift. Okay, so there's one. Let's scoot all of this over, and I'm going to show you how next to make some bath bombs. Okay. Okay, so for your bath bombs, you can do this in any different shape. So what I'm going to do, a neat little trick that I found, is when you make your bath bombs, you can use a, a pan it's for cupcakes and you just press them into here and let them sit and dry and then that way you don't need a mold okay so this is pretty neat and you can fill them up if you'd like or you can just fill up as many as you want make them as thick as you want as thin as you want and then you can let them dissolve in your bath water so it's pretty neat because then i didn't have to go out and buy any molds for this but you could if you have another mold or if you have a cookie cutter you can press them into your cookie cutter and just leave it sit on the counter okay what you're gonna need is a bowl. You're going to need Epsom salt, preferably without any other um, scents in it. This one's just original, but you can get other ones like lavender um, or mint and just be careful what you add to it. You're going to need baking soda, citric acid, something to stir with and some measuring utensils. Okay, and again, your scent. So for my purpose, I'm going to keep it all nice. You can give it all as one gift, and I'm going to use grapefruit juice again, our essential oil. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is you need a cup of your Epsom salt. Okay, so just one cup of your Epsom salt. And if you're making a big batch, you want to double this. Okay. So one cup of your Epsom salt. Okay. You're going to need half of a cup of your baking soda. So this is a one cup. I'm just going to do about half a cup here. Half a cup of your baking soda. Now your citric acid, this is used in canning. So if you've got maybe a grandma or grandpa or your mom or dad or guardian or sibling, aunt, uncle that does canning, ask if they have some and see if you can borrow just a couple tablespoons of it. If not, it's going to be in um, the grocery aisle where your mason jars would be, okay? So this is just citric acid. You can see it's got a little mason jar on there. And you're going to need about three tablespoons of this. Okay, so there's one, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna stir all this up here. Let me see if I can show you what it looks like. Be careful of the fumes. 
comes off of this powder. Okay, then you're going to need some grapefruit. And again, you can use any type of essential oil you want. So I'm just gonna use this. And I'm probably gonna add about 12 to 15 drops. Again, you can add more, but start out with less, okay? Okay, we're just gonna stir this up. Okay, and then another similar thing you need is you need some type of oil. So you can use on this um, almond oil works really well. I'm going to stick with my um, coconut oil because I've already used it. So I'm going to use some of this. And you're probably going to need about half of a cup of this as well. Okay. So I'm going to take about half of a cup. Fill this up here. Okay, now that you have everything, you want to carefully do the same thing. Mix it all up, okay? The citric acid will make it fizz in the bathtub. Give it that chemical reaction of it dissolving. It's also got the Epsom salt, so the salt in there is good to help your skin. The coconut oil is good for your skin, makes it smooth. If you've got dry skin, this really helps. Okay, so you're just mushing up. Let me see if I can show you again here. Okay, this little clumps, it kind of looks like snow again. And now you can add things to this. You can even add sprinkles. So you could add sprinkles to give it a neat little design. Okay. Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to put this into our molds, okay? And our molds, remember, we're using is our cupcake holder, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to put some of this into these, and you need to let them dry for 24 to 48 hours, okay? Don't touch them. They'll break apart too easy, okay? We're going to take some of this, and we're going to put it into our molds. You can put as much as you want or as little. This batch should fill up all 12 of these cupcakes. Okay, so let me show you just one. Okay. Now, what you want to do is you want to press this as strong as you can into the mold so that way it can make a little hockey puck disc for you. Okay, it's kind of like if you've ever made a cheesecake, you make your graham cracker crush and you press it down. That's what you want to do. Now, you can also use, if you remember, we had our measuring cup, this right here. And this works great to kind of just press down in there. And it makes it really sturdy. Okay. If you need to add some more, you can. A little bit more to mine. Okay, and you let these dry. And when they're done, you can pop them out. You can put them in a little baggie to give and tell them that they are bath bombs. Okay, so now you've got two things. You've got your bath bomb and you've got your sugar scrub, and you could give those as a nice little gift, um, something to relax at home. So I hope you had fun. Enjoy these.